I remember listening to a semi-popular radio show back when I was younger. They were making their normal like dick and fart jokes uh, when one of them mentioned a video game. I didn't know it then, but that game would change my life forever. But let's go back. It was 1999. I was a very successful greeting card shop clerk. I was a young teen heartthrob who loved to mess around with technology. I was listening to a radio show called The Opie and Anthony Show. And I remember one of the hosts mentioning a level 40 troll shaman in a brand new PC game. He went on to explain the very game that a lot of people would consider the grandfather of all 3D MMORPGs. That game is called EverQuest. Very few things in this world can bring an instant smile to my face. A nice cold crispy boy, some cheesecake perhaps, or even my tiny little hatchlings. But one thing above all else brings me an instant joy and feelings of nostalgia. I can just rest my head on the back of my chair and get an instant feeling of relaxation. The opening theme alone brings back so many memories of a more carefree time. When EverQuest launched in 1999, I had a terrible brick of a computer. Uh, it was mostly used for America Online chats and browsing the animated GIF sections of the internet to further my internet HTML design skills. I bought the game and installed it and waited a day for it to patch. And finally, I could log in. And it wouldn't be until two years later that I would actually be able to get the full-on addiction from EverQuest. I had finally upgraded my gateway to a Gateway 2000. The next 10 years of my life would be spent harnessing the powers of the mage Athens Cassiopeia. But honestly, I was never that good. I never raided. Hell, I can't even remember finding any fat gamer loots. But the music. Oh, the music. From the silly upbeat Rivervale Hobbit jig to the serious whimsy of the forest of Greater Fadark, every midi ditty, midi ditty, got stuck in the place in my dome where I stored other useless things that brought me the joy over the years, like Sega's Game Gear and everyone's favorite canned meat, Spam. The music of EverQuest was such an important part of the game that even after 20 years, it has not changed much. Sure, it has had revamps and remixes and everything like that, but the core of the melodies are pretty much still there. So let me give you a scenario. You just log in, you are graced with probably the most iconic tune in EverQuest franchise. Uh, you get a taste of it as you watch the adventure screen load up and then character select hits. Boom, new song. You create your hero or spend about 45 minutes deciding which hero you wanna play because you're returning for the first time after a long absence. Okay, let me hit the bank. Oh, shit, more music. Let's not forget the vendor music. Oh, and did you know about the special sound effects by the tavern in the Plane of Knowledge? Of course you did. Every zone's ballad or dirge was there to allow us to feel the zone's specific atmosphere. The music was so important that the creators of the game even had you notice when there was none. In the open area zone of Kano's Hills, all you hear is a breeze, your steps, and the sound of filthy rats, click neck beetles, and those dirty mangy knolls. These songs and sounds were designed by this original gangster of a 3D MMORPG just to have you fully immersed in the gaming experience. There is no game like EverQuest, and to me no soundtrack that can bring immediate calm and satisfaction that the EverQuest soundtrack can. I find myself returning to this game over and over, if only for a week or a month of playtime, just to revisit a time in my life that was just carefree. 
At the time, I could sink 50 hours a week into sometimes absolutely accomplishing nothing at all in the world of Norath. And that was okay. This world was so massive. You truly feel as though you are in a living and breathing world. You felt small amongst the mountains of Butcher Block and afloat in the ocean of tears. Travel was an adventure and death had true penalties. Granted, the current active live servers are very forgiving, but playing the classic styles of Project 1999 Blue and Green will have you smiling and <laughs> pulling your hair out at the same time. Give this game a try if you've never played it. It looks old, but it will reward you just as quickly as it crushes you. There is no other community like EverQuest, and I urge you to take a look. And with that, I am your internet pal Paul. Take care of each other and LARP on.